Hi, this is Chris Salas. I'd like to share a quick video with you about the Mechon scrolling techniques that I learned when I was a fellow at the Rizai Institute with Mark Terry and Mike Stryko. The video is uncut and will be shown in slow motion at first, and then it will be shown again in real time. Here's a golf stroke of the limbus that moves the scroll towards the center of the anterior chamber. My opening move is then to take one cannula and to tap at one end of the scroll. I then nudge the scroll up towards the area of the anterior chamber that I want to open it in, and I shallow the chamber because it's too deep. Here's a technique to trap the scroll in a shallower part of the anterior chamber with one cannula while using the other cannula to tap one end of the scroll to start opening it. Mike Stryko has shown me that this technique can be even more effective if you tap perpendicular to the scroll's spine rather than parallel to it as I'm doing here. Here you'll notice that I try and nudge the tissue to the shallow part of the anterior chamber but I release too quickly, which causes the tissue to rebound back towards my cannula. To prevent this from happening, it's important that you release slowly after you have nudged the tissue to where you want it to be. Ultimately, here I make the decision to shallow the chamber even further because the chamber is too deep for the scroll to open successfully. In another attempt, again my opening move is to use one cannula to tap one end of the scroll. And you can see that the scroll is beginning to respond, but not quite as much as I would like. I nudge it back to the right again, and I try tapping some more. At this point I decide to reposition the scroll in the shallow part of the anterior chamber again, this time using a cha-cha shuffling technique which is basically a hand-over-hand -hand nudging maneuver. I then tap the other end of the scroll and it begins to respond by opening for me. At this point, I tap down the spine of the scroll central to both unfurling leaflets. As I continue to tap in the center of the scroll, the right side of the scroll continues to open up, but the left side of the scroll cannot open up because there's nowhere to go in the anterior chamber. The solution here is to walk the entire graft across the chamber by shuffling the cannulas like this and intermittently tapping the most distal leading edge of the scroll to keep it from rolling up again. I continue to walk the graft out to the periphery of the anterior chamber until the scroll's edges are a little bit beyond the marks on the cornea. This is because I expect the whole scroll to shift back the other direction when I do the derisimer technique, which now I do by shallowing the unscrolled side of the scroll and tapping central to the scrolled upside of the scroll quick tap on the lower part of the graft there, and the graft is completely open. I then begin to center the graft inside my marks using a cha-cha shuffling technique, or at least try to, a couple golf strokes to the limbus, but neither of them are working. So I then very, very gently inflate the chamber very slightly so that there's a little bit more space for the graft to move. I then try the same techniques to move the graft a little bit towards me. First I try the cha-cha shuffling technique, then a few golf strokes to the limbus, and finally the cha-cha shuffling technique, which is what moves the graft into the marks. And now with the Demet graft well positioned and perfectly within our marks, we're ready to inject the SF6 gas bubble. We do this with a 27 gauge cannula on a TB syringe and introduce the cannula through a paracentesis that is in no danger of interfering with the graft. Before injecting the bubble, I make sure that the tip of the cannula is right beneath 
the corneal apex and that the eye is looking straight up and not torqued in any way. Any deviation from this position could result in the bubble pushing the graft off of the center marks. Let's watch the video again in real time. I start with a few quick golf strokes to the limbus to center up the scroll and then try tapping out the scroll at one of the scroll's ends. I use a nudging maneuver to get the scroll back into the center of the chamber and then I shallow the chamber some more. Here I try and block the scroll into the most peripheral part of the chamber where it's more shallow and tap on one end of the scroll again but it's not working. I try and nudge the scroll but I release too quickly so it bounces back. The chamber is too deep, so I go ahead and I shallow the chamber even more. I take another attempt here by tapping on one end of the scroll and nudging the scroll back into position when I need to. It's starting to respond, but not quite. So I now try and push the entire scroll into a more shallow part of the chamber with a cha-cha shuffling technique. At this point, the scroll starts to respond to the tapping, and I continue to gently tap down the spine of the scroll, central to each side of the unfurling leaflets. The right sides open, but the left sides run out of space in the chamber, so I then begin to walk the scroll across chamber, making sure to release the most leading edge of the scroll so it doesn't scroll back up on itself. I keep walking the, the scroll out to the corner of the chamber, until it's just beyond my marks, knowing that it's going to go back towards the other direction when I do the Durismer technique, which I now do by shallowing over the unscrolled part of the scroll and tapping central to the scrolled part of the scroll. Some quick maneuvers here to move the graft into the central marks, but the chamber is too shallow, so I deepen it very gently and very slightly with a little bit of BSS. A few more golf strokes and cha-cha maneuvers. And eventually this graft is in the center of my marks. I then inject the SF6 gas bubble with a 27 gauge cannula on a TB syringe through a paracentesis that has no danger of interfering with the graft and I don't inject the bubble until the orifice is right under the corneal apex and the eye is looking straight up. Thanks for watching this video, I really hope it helps.